The greatest pain a person can feel is the pain of rejection. The feeling that you are seen as ugly, dirty, a burden, of no value. Saint Drogo encountered this tremendous suffering during his life, but through the grace of God persevered amidst the darkness. He is an example of someone who did not give up, but transcended the miseries of life and never lost his faith in God. Saint Drogo was born in northern France in the 12th century. His mother apparently died after giving birth to him, and later in life, when he learned of this, Drogo inflicted extreme penances on himself as he believed he was accountable for her death, which of course was not true. In his youth he worked as a shepherd, and every day he spent long periods in prayer. He was extremely pious as a boy, and visited the church as often as he could. When he was a teenager he became an orphan, and decided at the age of 18 to rid himself of all his possessions and devote his life to travelling on pilgrimages throughout Europe. He is said to have walked to Rome no less than nine times. In between his pilgrimages, he worked as a shepherd at Sebourg in France. He had a reputation for holiness and like Padre Pio, was able to biolocate, witnesses claiming that he was seen out in the fields and at the same time attending Mass simultaneously. During one of his pilgrimages, however, he contracted a skin disease which horribly deformed his face and head. The poor man was unable to find a remedy for this terrible condition and despite countless prayers to God was left unanswered. Subsequently he endured much suffering and was often treated badly by others who reviled him because of his unsightly appearance. While in his twenties, Drogo decided to become an anchorite, which is basically a hermit who lives in the same room their entire life without ever leaving. A small cell was erected for him attached to the church at Seborg, and Drogo spent the remaining forty years of his life in this voluntary prison. There was a small window which allowed him to see Mass being celebrated and receive the Eucharist. The saint prayed and fasted continually during his time as a recluse. He is said to have lived entirely on barley, water and the Eucharist and followed a strict regimen of prayer daily. Drogo would have had a servant or a parishioner who would supply him with sustenance and also remove waste for him. The saint died in his cell at the age of 81 with a reputation for holiness. He was buried in Sebourg and his tomb immediately began attracting pilgrims. Cures and other miracles were wrought through his intercession and he was named a saint shortly after his death. In art he is often depicted as a shepherd with a staff and sheep. Saint Drogo was popular in the medieval period and he became the patron of several issues including the sick, the mentally ill, deaf people, unattractive people, against mutinous, shepherds, against gallstones, cafes and skin conditions to name but a few. This beautiful saint can teach us to trust in God when our prayers don't get answered the way we would like them to be. He encountered tremendous sufferings during his life, but did not become angry with God or lose his faith. Through prayer and meditation, he was able to overcome these trials and not lose heart, for he knew that suffering does not last.